We begin tonight with a beautiful live look from our WREX tower camera, a beautiful look from inside. It is a hot day in the state line today and going into tonight as well. If you managed to keep your AC off so far this year, Wow, you're incredible for doing that, but you're going to want to crank it up tomorrow. We'll check in with Alex later on in this newscast to see how much hotter we'll get. Our other top story today, the countdown to fully reopening in Illinois. We're fewer than seven hours away from the state fully reopening. Feels like we've been waiting forever for this day, right? It's actually 446 days since this lockdown began in Illinois. 402 days ago, the state's phased reopening plan to get the economy reopened was announced. So tomorrow marks a historic day. The state will lift all capacity limits on businesses, large scale events, conventions, amusement parks and other venues. Right now, most businesses are operating at 60% capacity. Governor J.B. Pritzker released a statement today saying in part, quote, I invite all Illinoisans to feel the hope and joy of this moment while also recognizing that this pandemic is still very present for the world at large. Not to mention those here at home who have not been or cannot be vaccinated. As we take this next step, let's do so with a renewed commitment to empathy, to community, and to making each day together count. You did it, Illinois. But don't throw away your masks just yet after today. If you're not vaccinated, the CDC recommends you wear one in almost all settings. You still will need to wear a mask if you are vaccinated on public transportation like buses or planes and in places like airports and bus stations. Everyone still needs a mask as well in Illinois healthcare centers and per guidance from the state, you'll still need a mask in schools and daycares. As Illinois reopens tomorrow, we see the lowest number of people in the hospital with COVID-19 since the pandemic started. Great news there. Our positivity rate also at an all time low and 68% of Illinoisans have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine.